Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Nathan, this is Rogue Masters. So in front of me, I got the Roblox S6 and Roblox S5 Max. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to map out your floor plans using these robots. Now, it's quite simple, but there's a couple things you have to do. Now, I do have an article on my website, www.robottechreviews.com. I actually explain that in those articles, so check that out if you want to read about it. But in this video, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, let's get started. So, the first thing you need is your smartphone. Uh, you can use Android or iPhone. I'm using a Galaxy Note 9, and I'm actually going to use the Mi Home app. Um, you can also use the Roblox app. There's an actual official app that works with these guys. And one thing to know is all the Roblox models support the free map floor plans, including the Roblox S5. So that's awesome, Roblox. You actually updated your oldest robot to include that. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the Mi Home app. I assume you guys paid up your robot, so... Let's say, for example, you just got the robot out for the first time. You actually have to do one thing, and I'll show you that. So go ahead and uh, select your robot, and once you do that, you'll be on the main home screen. For my example, I actually have a map, but I'll show you how to clear out the map. But one thing you have to do is go into that settings, it's in the upper right hand corner, and go to vacuum settings. Okay, so at the top is map save mode, it's in beta, but in reality, it's not beta, it works really well. So once you enable, it allows you to save the maps, edit the maps, create virtual walls and also keep out zones. So it's a very important setting that has to be enabled or you will never map out your uh, Roblox. Alright, let's go ahead and jump back to the main menu. So right now these robots actually have a map built in. So if you don't clear it and you try to do a new floor plan, it will corrupt your map and create a lot of problems. So to delete the map, all you have to do is go ahead and select the map tab and go to edit map. Now keep in mind that these tabs will vary between the different models and also what app use either the Roblox app or the Mi Home app. Now I'm going to delete the current map. Uh, basically how this works is you have a current map at the very top and you have two backup maps at the bottom. Uh, unfortunately you cannot select a certain map to save. It's actually done through the app automatically. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete the current map. It just takes a few seconds or actually clear the map out of the robot. Now I'm back to the home page and you can see that the map is clear. I am ready to go ahead and start mapping my first floor plan. Okay, so before we start mapping, let's just go ahead and uh, pick up everything. Pick up those fluffy slippers, pick up your power cables, the pillows, basically your bean bags, everything. So the robot can have the best chance of mapping out your entire floor plan. Once the floor plan is done, you can go ahead and put those items back on the ground. I brought the robot to the first floor plan. All you need is the robot. You also need the charger that's plugged in. It's recommended that you have the robot fully charged. And you're probably wondering, what in the world is this? Well, this is for the mopping attachment. When the robot's done, it actually sits on this charger and the water or the wet mopping pad won't seep onto your floor. Very ingenious design. Okay, let's get back to what we were doing. Okay, so we have the robot, we have the charger. All you have to do is place the robot on the charger. Charging. And now, to initiate the cleaning, all you have to do is press the power button or you can do that on the app. Starting to clean. Okay, you can see right away that the Roblox was able to start creating its map. One thing to note is, you know that glass panel? Well, it actually considers that a secondary room. So that's just one thing about LiDARs is reflective objects and glass windows may confuse it, but it didn't really affect the mapping. So my home is just slightly under 2,800 square feet for the main floor plan. So I actually put the robot on low power mode so it can cover the entire area on a single charge. And it usually takes around 90 minutes to complete. So this would be a good time to go out and have some fun, enjoy some family and friend time, also maybe go see a movie, there's some great movies coming out. Anyways, so once the robot's done, it will actually return back to its charger automatically and notify you through its app, or if you have a smartwatch, it will actually notify you through there as well. So if you find this tutorial video helpful, please smash the like button, helps me gauge if this video is popular. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Nathan, this is Robot Masters. I do a lot of unboxings of robot vacuums, reviews, I do tutorials, I do how-tos, teardowns, tear-ups, I do everything, you name it. Okay, the robot will go ahead and return back to its dock and automatically upload the map to the servers, and then you can see them save map and also edit the map. Okay, if everything went well, we should see a main map on our home screen. Once the map is loaded, we can go ahead and edit and change the map, but let's check the save map progress. We'll go ahead and jump into the edit map tab, and we can see that the current map is the map we just did. And if you scroll down to the bottom, the secondary backup map has our current map. Yes, it's a little confusing, but the app automatically saves all the maps for you.
Okay, let's go ahead and jump to the edit room. This is where we can edit our map. For the S5 Max, there's a specialized tab called Customize. Let's go over to the left a little bit. We'll merge the master bedroom with the master bath, and we'll just select the two areas. And once the two areas are merged together, they become the same color. Next, we're going to go ahead and divide the two areas up. It's pretty easy. There's these two little handles with these dots at the end. You just go ahead and move those handles to where you are and make sure that the line solid that indicates that it has a clear line going across the area. And once you do that, just click the OK button. Or in this case, the check mark. So just be patient, it takes a few seconds to update the map and once it's updated you can move on to the next tab which is the name tab. Now I've always previously created names or labels and they'll automatically save for the next map which is nice convenience. Okay here's the list of names I've used in the past but you can select the custom and you can create your own name. One thing to note is if you keep it 12 characters or less it will actually show the entire name but if it's longer it will just show partially. The last thing I want to show you is the Customize tab. This is exclusive to the S5 Max because it has the electronically controlled mopping pad. Is you can actually assign different power levels and also water levels to the area that you created. This is great if you want to quickly assign different power levels so when you select the room it automatically adjusts the vacuum accordingly. Once the map is complete and you've gotten everything to your license, go ahead and press the back button and you should see the updated changes on your main home screen. So for your second and third floor plan, it's the very same process, just make sure the robot's fully charged, it's on its charger and a new floor plan, and remember to erase the map that's previously on the robot, or the current map, so the robot doesn't try to overwrite the existing map. Alright, pretty straightforward process. Again, if you want to read my article, go to www.robottechreviews.com. I also have the article explaining the process. Okay, you guys have a great rest of the day, and see you guys next time.